Hello friends, welcome back to our help videos. In this video, we will walk you through the sales tax setup in the Google Merchant Center next. Google requires merchants to provide details of sales tax or VAT charges for their stores. This data must be submitted to the Google Merchant Center next so that it can be displayed along with shopping ads. The sales tax setup done in the Merchant Center is applicable only to the United States. We will need to set up tax rates for each state of the United States where we are charging taxes. Typically, these are the states that our business has a tax nexus with. If you don't charge taxes on U.S. sales, you must still specify this in Google Merchant Center tax settings. If your store operates outside the U.S., you may need to include taxes like VAT or GST in the product price before submitting your feed to Google Merchant Center next. So let's get going. Sign into your Google Merchant Center Next account, click on Products, under your Business section in the Navigation panel, and navigate to the Sales Tax option and click on Edit. Here, by default, the Nexus settings for all states are disabled, which means no sales tax is charged for any state. Let's assume that you operate from the state of California. Now, you might also have a question about in which states you are liable to collect and pay the tax to the U.S. government. You can have an accurate answer to this question after consulting your tax advisor. For now, log into your Shopify store to check the tax settings. Click on the settings option at the bottom left of the page. Go to taxes and duties. You will see the list of countries. Search the country for which you want to manage the tax settings. Here, we are reviewing the settings for the United States. To determine for which states we are charging tax, click on United States and scroll down to the Regions You're Collecting section. As you can see, here we are collecting sales taxes only for California. Please navigate back to the previous page. We need to review a few additional settings for tax calculation, which also need to be considered when setting up sales tax in Google Merchant Center next. Like, if product prices already include tax or not or if we charge tax on shipping rates. In the United States, tax rates vary based on the buyer's or seller's location. Each state or local tax authority has its own rules for how much tax to collect, depending on whether your business needs to charge sales tax. Based on the Shopify store setup, currently, you are liable to collect the sales tax for any sale made within California. So we will enable the switch against California. Here, you will have two options. The first option is automatic based on customer location. This will allow Google to estimate the tax rate based on the location of the customer. Second option is manual setup. By choosing this option you can define your own custom tax rate for that particular state. There is also an option to enable the tax on the shipping rates in the third column. It should be checked only when you are charging tax on the shipping rates on your online store. As seen in the Shopify store settings earlier, we are not charging the tax on the shipping, so we will keep it unchecked. Before we wrap up, you might be wondering what should be done if you don't charge any tax in the United States. The answer is actually simple. Just leave the boxes unchecked and click on save. That's all about setting up the tax settings in Google Merchant Center. Hope this helps. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss out on the latest updates. Got more questions? Drop them in the comments below or send an email to support at Thank you for watching.